Today we're making an RTK server from a Lilio T-Display S3 and a Unicore Com UM980 GPS receiver. This will allow us to mine up to three servers at once and have a nice flashy display so we can see the status of the mining and the connection to the internet at the same time. Start by going to the GitHub repository where you can find the instructions for setting up the software on the ESP32. We've got to go to the downloads folder and download the different files we'll need to upload. Next we open the Expressive Launchpad, which will allow us to upload the software to the ESP32. Back in GitHub, we look up the files and their addresses for where they're stored in memory, and we enter those into the Launchpad. Once you've selected all the files and set the correct locations in memory for each file, hit program and it will be uploaded to the ESP32. Once the upload completes, an option to reset the device will appear up in the top right hand corner. You select reset and then the device will reboot. When it reboots, a green screen will appear. That is the startup screen and it'll sit there for about 30 seconds while we wait for the flash memory to be reformatted for the first time. This only ever happens once so uh, you can just sit through this, let it complete naturally and then we'll be ready to begin the next step. With the flash formatted the device will display no shield at the top and it will also display the hotspot name and the hotspot password so what you want to do is connect to the hotspot that's the rtk underscore six eight something so you find that connect to it enter the password which will be john with capital j one two three four five six Now your browser should automatically open up at 192.168.4.1. If it doesn't, you can just open the browser at that. Then go configure your Wi-Fi. That's where you enter your Wi-Fi details for your home Wi-Fi network. Enter the password and then hit save. This will reboot the device and you'll see a little green tick in the top row of the screen indicating the device is connected to the Wi-Fi. Also you'll see uh, the IP address of the device in the top row. Then you connect to your home Wi-Fi again. Then you can browse to the IP address of this device which is 192.168.1.34 in my case. It'll be different for you. Then you hit configure Wi-Fi again, and this time you get an option to enter your caster details. So you can enter up to three different caster addresses. And then when you hit save at the end of this, it will reboot the device again, and it'll be making an attempt to connect to the caster as soon as the device starts receiving RTK corrections. Because I'm mounting this board and the display on the same PCB, I chose to mount it upside down so I'd get better space above the board. But yeah, you can no, wire it up like... here and see that uh, with four wires, power and TXRX, you'll be able to connect it. Be careful to wire power and ground correctly. If you get them around the wrong way, it could damage either device and you'll be out of pocket a hundred bucks. When you turn on for the first time, it'll connect to the Wi-Fi. You'll get one tick in the top row and then after a while, 
it will get a second tick in the top row which means it's connected to the GPS and the packet count at the bottom will start increasing 6, 12, there you go and then once it's connected to the GPS you'll also see that the GPS will have a blue blinking LED once it's connected picking up satellites. This is my first hack at a PCB you can see the second row of pins doesn't line up with the holes. To get around this I had to cut two PCBs in half and join them together. The second hack came out better. So we made up our own circuit board. Uh, we put it in a little housing with a fan. Uh, you can put the board in upside down and then with the display there as well. If you want more information go to the GitHub repository. You should see all the instructions there. This was really quick, uh, so if you want me to go into more detail, uh, put something in the comments and I might make a longer video. I thought this was going to be longer, but it turned out not so much.